With Photo Vibrance, you can transform any photo into a mesmerizing moving image in just a few clicks. Simply drop your image into Vibrance and choose the effect you want to create. Then select your preferred resolution. Inside the editor is where the magic happens. Click around the parts of your image you want to remain still. Then choose the motion arrows to add movement to areas in your image you want to bring to life. It's really that simple. You can also add text, images, as well as special effects and sky replacements to make your images really grab attention. In our advanced editor, you can also create incredible 3D parallax animations. Control the path and rotation of the camera, adjust the easing of your animations, and even add real 3D particles to your images. Once you're ready, choose your file format and hit publish. That's it. Get started transforming your images into breathtaking motion pictures with Photo Vibrance. Welcome to Photo Vibrance. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started creating animated images inside of Vibrance. So you have two options. You can either drag and drop an image over here or click to browse from your desktop, or you can go through the stock image integrations and search for an image using Pixels or Pixabay. I'm gonna go and grab an image from my desktop and just drop it in like so. Okay, cool. So now over here, what we can do is change the resolution and you can set custom dimensions over here. If you select custom, you can go back to the original image size or you can set you know sizes that are good for social media like the square one over here so I'm just going to select that and click on next okay great so inside the editor we've got options such as adding text you can add your logo or an image you can add effects shapes you can adjust the size again and you can publish your uh, project as well as save your project to work on it at a later stage so what I'm going to do first of all is begin animating. So what you can do is just zoom into the image over here and you want to go through and set some anchors where you don't want the image to move. So I'm going to go and grab single and just simply start clicking around here. And I just want to you know set the water in motion. So I want to kind of you know freeze everything around the water. Okay, great. You can also use the path option if you want to just simply click and then click and it will and hit enter and then it will basically add the paths at the end like that. So I'll just go in and I just hit the selection tool actually and go and just move these around a little bit. Okay, great. So now I've got my anchors in place. What I want to do is add some arrows to make the the image move. So I'm going to select single and just simply click and drag and what you want to do is not make the arrows too big uh, you kind of want to make them this kind of size depending on how much motion you want to add the bigger the arrows more motion you'll add to your picture so you just want to kind of draw it out like that um, you can keep going add some more arrows and then click on the play button you can see we've got this nice kind of image like this and what you want to do is just you know kind of go in there and maybe add a few more arrows like so and there we go we can also adjust the speed of the animation by just simply dragging this out like this and what I also want to do with this one is I want to add some fog so I'm going to go over to the effects over here and I'm just going to scroll down and add some fog. I'm going to go grab this one here, kind of zoom out and then just kind of place it near the bottom like that. And I'm going to set the speed to slow for this fog, okay? So let's just play this through. And it's looking really nice. So once you're ready and you're happy with your image, what you can do is go to the publish button over here you can select whether you want it to be an mp4 or a gif image I'm going to go with mp4 and let's just set it to two loops and click on publish and give it a name, so let's call this one beautiful. and you'll be able to see that our image will start exporting and once it's ready we can go view our animated image so let's just go ahead and preview the video so let's check this out 
And that's how easy it is to go through and create animated images inside of Photovibrance.